it. Don't do 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 it. Tried to come straight from work, but I forgot stuff. Cars on the trailer. We're gonna head up to Willby now. Yeah, three um, and a bit hours. Three and a half. Yeah, three and a bit hours. That's it. We're going. Let's get the hell out of here. We made it here last night at like 11, 11.30. Um, just got the car off the trailer now. We're really, really keen. I've read in some of the old gazelle forums, Australian ones, they're like, oh, if you can't fucking slide this factory, then, you know, no power's gonna help you. So, based on that assumption, this should be able to slide. Tighten up the dampers in the front, let it idle for a while, warm up. We're gonna do breakfast now, and then get ready, because track is technically open right now. We had to mount the fire extinguisher in the car, because the floor pan is so weird. We've just put it here. It's on a bit of a weird angle, but like, whatever. It's in. Hopefully, everything's fine. We got shapes, we got helmets. Got some tools. I'm so keen, fellas. I've just been elected as drift judge. Guys, just drift judge, guys. And um, and this is Leon. He used to be cool with an S13. Yeah. But then the cops weren't cool. Yeah, no, they didn't like it. No, or well, it was gonna be a major, but then he's just like, uh It's like, oh, I feel bad for you, mate. Don't worry yeah. about it. And you're just like, all right, I'll sell the car. Because it's <laughs> running through everything. Like, you have a race seat, you have like extractors, you have coilovers, all this shit. I'm like, um, so fucked. That's nice not being pulled over every fucking 30 seconds with it. We got on the track. Got wet. <laughs> so we've done like a couple laps warming up and last lap before coming off to check oils and things. They're extended into a puddle sideways. The side that hit the puddle is a bit like washed. The side that didn't hit the puddle is absolutely covered in just mud. Um, what do you reckon the car? It's good. Goes well. Yeah, good. Just you know, not much power, but yeah, not much power, but it skids. I tried to use a handbrake and I just spun out. I can't use a handbrake. Doing like feints and clutch kicks, I can do that. Yeah, we're gonna set up the mount for the GoPro in the car and then um, head back out. for lunch. Cheese and bacon rolls. With shapes. Derek's got shapes in his. Some uh, barbecue shapes. 
because all goes well. It slides. It slides really smoothly. It's quite surprising. I don't know why people don't, more people don't have these cars. Legit. <laughs> that with a CA Turbo. About the same as before. Yeah, honestly. looking not much different. Maybe like 0.5 mil less. <laughs> I'm actually so stoked on this dude. Fellas, if you could buy an S12 to land a skid, do it. Actually don't, you'll increase the price of it. <laughs> yeah, don't do that actually. <laughs> I'll try bringing the camera along when I go for a passenger ride. Because the guy who owns the mechanic, the garage shop, that I go to get my fabrication done, he's here just after doing work on my car like two days ago. And um, yeah, I'm going to try and get a ride along with him. He's got a Toyota Corona with an R31 rear end. Is that what he said? Yeah, yeah. And Ecotech. He's got a Commodore Ecotech. Supercharged, supercharged Ecotech. And uh, this is lunchtime of day one. We still have a day and a half to go and rain to go um, we won't film every lap because it's the same thing again and again yeah but once we get better and better and better we'll start filming more laps and we'll be sweet i guess the passenger rides with people has been going super well all day like really really well 
Obviously, it's not like the V8 S13s that are out here. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you send it, you tip it into the corner. Oh, there's the steering lock. <laughs> you tip it into the corner hard and... Flat throttle. Flat throttle. <laughs> Huck it in. <laughs> flick it like flick it to counter steer a bit, but then grab it quickly because and you gotta pull it back. You gotta grab it quickly and pull it back because if you let it go too far because of the non-power steering, you'll be using both hands on one side of the wheel trying to yank it back because it just doesn't come back. And uh yeah, it's been going really really well. It's been skidding nicely, sending it in here and there. What ended up happening is Derek was doing some extra runs. I was jumping in as passenger in a few people's rides and I looked up at the start point and the S12 was pulled to the side, bonded up and white steam was billowing out. Not billowing out, but like, you know. Yeah, it was coming. Was, there, was, there was, yeah, there was some steam. So it turns out that one of the things that happened is that uh, right down in here See the alternator and the fins on the alternator? Well, um, they kind of dug a hole into the lower rad hose. There it is. Yeah, so we just like dug away at it. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna head into town. We're gonna grab um, a one of these, hose. if they have it. Either a hose or just a sleeve and some hose clamps. Yeah, or, yeah, a hose or a sleeve and some hose clamps. May as well ask them if they've got a belt. Yeah, we'll see what size it is, get the next one down. Yeah. Part of the reason that happened is because I changed the belts on here, and the belt that I got was a fresh one, and um, to make it tight and not constantly keep screeching still, even though it was new, I had to like crank the tension on the alternator. Oh yeah, to the max. And then the alternator fins have dug into the lower rad hose. The only issue that we run into is literally just that. Here we've got some spaghetti for dinner. Oh, that's cool. I didn't think we'd wear tires at all enough for anything like that to happen. That's that for today. We're just gonna chill now. Watch some skids, get some food. See you tomorrow.